Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to solve one very interesting quartic equation. It is 7x plus 1 times 9x plus 1 times 21x plus 1 times 63x plus 1 equal to 160 over 189. And we have to find out all four solutions. So let's get started. I will write our equation 7x plus 1 times 9x plus 1 times 21x plus 1 times 63x plus 1 equal to 160 over 189. I can factorize it 9 times 7 which is 63 times 3. So it is 189. Now I will multiply left hand side and right hand side with 9 times 7 times 3. How it will be? I will multiply this 9 to this bracket only. 7x plus 1. The next factor 7 I will multiply to the second bracket. Then third factor 3 I will multiply to the third bracket which is 20. 1x plus 1 and fourth bracket is unchanged 63x plus 1 and right hand side is 160 now i will take the multiplication 9 with first bracket so i will be writing 63x plus 1 times 9 which is 9 Next bracket I will be writing 63x plus 7. Third bracket it will become 63x plus 3. Fourth bracket it is 63x plus 1. RHS is 160. Now you can see 63x, 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 63x. So let us call. 63x equal to y suppose. So I will write our equation as y plus 9 times y plus 7 times y plus 3 times y plus 1 equal to 160. Let me write here y plus 9 times y plus 7 times y plus 3 times y plus 1 equal to 160. Now I will consider another substitution as we have 1379. So middle point will be or average value will be y plus 5. This I will consider suppose t. So y plus 9 will be t plus 4. y plus 7 will be t plus 2. y plus 3 will be t minus 2. y plus 1 will be t minus 4. And right hand side is 160. Now I will consider first and last bracket all together. So I will write t plus 4 times t minus 4. And then t plus 2 bracket and t minus 2 bracket. Equal to 160. Now you can see a plus b a minus b. a plus b a minus b difference of two squares will come into the picture. Let me write that formula a plus b times a minus b. This will become a square minus b square. So I will be writing here t square minus 16 and t square minus 4 equal to 160. Let me write here t square minus 16 times t square minus 4 equal to 
160. Now let us multiply. I will be writing one quadratic equation t power 4 minus 4t square minus 16t square plus 64 equal to 160 or I can write t power 4 minus 20t square plus 64 minus 160 equal to 0. Further we can write t power 4 minus 20t square minus 96 equal to 0. Now I can see the factorization of this quadratic equation in t square. So I can write t power 4 and here I will split minus 20 as minus 24 t square plus 4 t square. So product will be minus 96 which is matching and this addition will be minus 20 minus 96 equal to 0. Now from first two terms I can take t square common. In bracket it would be t square minus 24. Here I will take 4 common. In bracket I will be writing t square minus 24 equal to 0. So factorization will be t square minus 24 times t square plus 4 equal to 0. Let me write here t square minus 24 times t square plus 4 equal to 0. So from here I can write t square minus 24 will be 0 or t square plus 4 will be 0. Once t square minus 24 is 0. So from here I can write t square is equal to 24. And from the second equation I can write t square is equal to minus 4. Which I can write 4i square. If square is negative complex solution will come. Or I can write it is 2i whole square. So let me write overall value of t square. So I will be writing t square is equal to 24 and 2i whole square. Where i is square root of minus 1. Further I can write t square is equal to square root 24. So I can write 4 times 6. So 2 root 6 whole square comma 2i whole square. Now consider square root both sides. So I will be writing t equal to plus minus 2 root 6. And complex solutions plus minus 2i. This is our t. And t was our substitution. So let me write once again t equal to plus minus 2 root 6 and plus minus 2i. Now t was our substitution y plus 5. So I will write y plus 5 equal to plus minus 2 root 6 and plus minus 2i. Take away 5 from both sides. So y will become minus 5 plus minus 2 root 6 and minus 5 plus minus 2i. Now y was our initial substitution. So I will write here y is equal to 63x equal to minus 5 plus minus 2 root 6 and minus 5 plus minus 2i. 
divide this equation by 63 i will get my answer x is equal to minus 5 plus minus 2 root 6 over 63 two solutions real solutions now complex minus 5 plus minus 2i divided by 63 so overall four solutions are here two are real solutions two are complex valued solution or complex solutions and this brings the end of this video i hope you will like this video friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye